Dan. I'm a Division One tennis player. I've been playing tennis for 20 years. So as a junior player, um, as a teenager, you're able to have a little frustration in you already. Pretty moody, and especially on the court, you know, when you step on and you make some errors, you're bound to get frustrated. And you know, just t step, taking a step back and recovering from those errors is a really important, really important aspect to learn. Um, and for me, it was tough. But as I got a hold of it, it really helped me in my tennis game. All right, so as a junior, um, technically improving is really important, but you can't really improve technically that much if you don't retain it. And being mentally tough and improving mentally helps you retain that technical information, uh, helps you become a better player on and off the court. Also, it helps you for college life. Um, I found that in my college days, uh, my abilities to take a step back and kind of handle myself really helped me in my studies. And it's just helped me uh, improve exponentially. Um, if I did not have the skills um, today mentally, I definitely would not be in the place where I am. Uh, it has you know, made me come a long way, and if I hadn't had those skills growing up, I wouldn't have improved, I wouldn't have gotten better. Um, coaches wouldn't look at me the same way, because coaches never like a hothead. Coaches like someone who's cool and uh, calm and collected. So if I had not had the mental skills training that I had, I 100% I would recommend the Mental Toughness Framework to anyone trying to achieve their athletic or academic goals, no matter what level you're at. It helps you succeed, um, not just on the court, but off the court, you know, not even, maybe even the classroom. It could be, you know, on the street, um, any walks of life, it really helps you out, just, you know, with your patience and just about anything, so. Today I still find myself using the mental toughness framework skills and I definitely foresee myself using them in the, in the future when I enter the workforce and uh, become uh, someone who can work effectively uh, with this place. My name is Dan and I'm zoned in.